Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for coming back to check me out yet a mother freaking again. It's your girl Chrissy and I'm back, mother effers. Yes, period. <laughs> so this video, I will be doing something different um, that I don't typically do and that is share what I purchased from Sephora. I decided to do it this go round because this go round is the best, okay? Well, I mean, they have it, it happens a couple of times a year, but, um, and I do like to splurge at Sephora's. So I literally waited to splurge like how I really wanted to splurge for November 5th, just so that I can get my Rouge member early access to my 20% discount, 30 if you're shopping Sephora products or whatever, something of the sort. But anywho, so I ju I'm just super excited because I literally waited and it's not about me being cheap or anything because let me tell you, I am, I am cheap, okay? Um, but I also like to spend money. But if I know that there's a huge sale happening right around the corner where I'm gonna get 20% off, where I can get 10% off, shoot, even 5% off. Guess what, sis? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because guess what? When that time comes, I'm gonna be mad that I didn't take advantage of that sale. And this is just my first box. That's what I normally do when these big sales happen at Sephora's. I like test the waters. I get what I really wanted to get that I was waiting to get for what the last couple of weeks. And then for some weird reason, I feel like I need more things and I go in and shop some more and shop some more to take advantage of the sale before the sale is out. I fell in love with Sephora during the pandemic. I definitely been introduced and been shopping at Sephora prior to the pandemic, but it was nothing major. Um, it was because my love and knack for, um, you know, learning how to do my makeup picked up during the pandemic, watching Jackie Ina and other um, makeup gurus. So that's what sparked that interest. I'm like, oh, let me try this, let me try that. And Sephora was the place to go. And not to mention they had a few of my favorite items there. But last year, during the heart of the pandemic, I'm still in a panoramic, okay? So don't get it twisted. But during okay. the heart of the pandemic, um, that's when you know, you're at home. So I got to play in makeup, learn how to do my makeup more than I've ever learned how to do it before. And not only that, I super tapped into skincare, honey. Like, I fell in love with skincare. Now, prior to last year, I did just started buying skincare products and figuring out what works for me in 2019. Um, but it was really 2020 that really took it to another level. That's why my skin is on another level and I worked hard for it to be on another level. And that's why I just be advising people about, like, take a, take a tour in Sephora, okay? Shop around, do your research, watch some videos pertaining to skincare and beauty. Preferably, Beauty Within is the number one beauty um, skincare channel ever. I'm not gonna say beauty, but skincare channel ever. Beauty Within, those women that are the hosts of that show, YouTube channel, they taught me so much. The science behind my skin and everything and how to identify my skin type, my skin problems, how to reach the skin goals that I have. And it's because of them and their channel is the reason why like I'm so into skincare. So if you haven't checked them out, please check them out. But enough of that, with that being said, let's get to this Sephora haul, okay? Period. <laughs> Okay, so for this, I just want to tap into it and share like the reasons why I purchased the things that I purchased. There's one item I am going to talk about that is not a part of this haul, um, only because I started to purchase it, but then I looked somewhere else to see if it was available because it was sold out and I'll be darned it was available so i was like what and i got it for ten dollars less so anywho i'm gonna start with my number one fave 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 can't live without 
I cannot live without, I can't live without it. Like I cannot live without these pads. Um, they're max cor complexion correction pads. Honestly, when I first started using these, up until when I ran out, I was just like, like I just, these are like the number one thing that I just cannot live without. Reason being is because it prevents acne before it starts. And I'm talking about like your period breakouts, you know, that time of the month, like it stops it before it starts. On top of that, it keeps your skin glowing, clear, you know, and the ingredients in this is like crazy. I don't know if you can see it, but it's crazy. So if you haven't, Peter Thomas Roth, please check that out. Like I'm telling y'all, this is a game changer. Read the reviews. The reviews will tell you too. Like, I don't even think there's many bad reviews on this product in Sephora. Um, I don't know how much I paid for it. I think it was like 40 something dollars, 50, 46, I don't know. I don't care. Like, this is something I'm always gonna buy. And it's been something that I've been slacking, buying when I've been shopping at Sephora since I ran out. Don't know why. I've been buying everything else and I'll go to Sephora site just to purchase this, but I guess because I was kind of check, you know, testing like other products, but nothing comes close to this. Like this is something that you need to have in your closet, um, your cabinet, <laughs> your bins, whatever, your, uh, you know, your fridge for your skincare products. I don't care where you store this. Just make sure you store it at room temperature or less um, and just, Stay on top of this like this is a game changer for real like it keeps your skin clear i suffer from and i'm not going to say suffer but yes i do um have hyperpigmentation so anytime i get a type of mark on my face or my skin in general like it's going to turn black like but with this that thing don't happen like it prevents acne before it starts um and this is pretty strong so you want to take your time using this product so you want to start out like maybe one to two times a week but i got to a point where i was doing it like every other day okay so anyways read the directions there you know it's there for a reason read it on the site read it on here but i'm telling you ladies your skin will change drastically if you add this to your collection i promise you i'm not lying i like since i stopped using this like i've been going through the breakouts here and there and i'm like i know it's because i stopped using this like i experienced a breakout definitely around that time of month i didn't have those problems when i was using this my skin is that my skin was at its best and the way i like to use these pads is, is as if it's um like a toner like i use it after i wash my face before I apply my serums and my moisturizers and eye creams, things of that nature. I use this as like my toner. So keep it in mind, okay? Um, Next, I am trying this out for the first time. Like I have this problem where, you know, I have a bunch of lip glosses that are like different colors, you know, um, different flavors sleep masks um and and not for nothing but that sleep mask by Laneige I think that's how you pronounce it, it it's not giving what it's supposed to give it don't it it really don't honestly it don't like when I went to Sephora and I purchased that and I actually went into Sephora to purchase that um that was advised by one of the you know the salesperson saleswoman there and she suggested that and she's just like, you know, it's really good. And it, it just didn't give, like what I'm looking for is something that I don't have to keep reapplying. Um, it's cute, you know, it's it's good to have on hand, you know, just for the heck of it. But it really, to me, don't give what it's supposed to give, especially not this time of year. Like it was better for me in the summer, but um, within the past week or two, as it has gotten a lot cooler, I've been finding myself like in dire need of something else. Like this is just not working. It's like, I just put this product on and my lips feel dry. Um, they're peeling and yes, I'm using lip scrubs. I may have to start using them every day, but 
that's not how that's not the nature of my lip care okay so like if the product is not working you gotta find something else so I looked into this I think this cost about seven dollars and a lot of good reviews on this um, they said that it's really really good um, keeps your lips very moisturized I just want something to wear when I get out the shower I can just put on my lips and that was the whole point of me purchasing that sweet mask by Laneige just to have something like just to have something to apply on when I get out the shower or just something basic that doesn't have color to it now my understanding this does have like a little rose tint which is fine but I just want something that's not like supposed to be like all that luxurious like I just want something that I can just stick in my bag and just add some moisture to my lips or get out the shower and just put some on and don't have to keep worrying about reapplying so that's why I purchased this um and this is Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm. My understanding also is that it initially came in a tin can, but now they made it more conventional for people that want it in a tube. So, yeah. Okay, up next, I have Sephora's C and E, Vitamin C and E um, Serum. I just been, I have serums, but I've just been bored with them and I'm just looking for something extra in my skincare closet or yeah, it's like a mini closet, but in my skincare cabinet. And um, just after looking at reviews, like I don't know what everyone's skincare goals are, but outside of having clean and clear skin, even skin tone, I want my skin to glow. Like I want my skin to be like, like dang like you are glowing you know so that's like what I gear my skincare products around because um, after resolving my issues thanks to beauty within like after defining what my skincare issues were and correcting those issues now was about reaching my skincare goals and for me I just want that person that like have that very subtle skin that glows in the sun and the dark and dim light like that I'm big on so um, I just wanted something to add to my little skincare glow collection and um, I'm trying this out for the first time really good reviews and guys don't get it twisted Sephora skincare line really is popping the biggest complaint that I've seen with any Sephora skincare line is that their packaging can be much better because um, the distribution of it is messy and they nobody likes that and I can agree because I purchased this hyaluronic acid lotion that may have had vitamin E in it I'm not sure but everyone complained about how messy it was and that the packaging needed to be better and I can agree but I don't care you know what I mean like it really did its job like it, it really did its job like when I would use that and it, and it was like five six dollars when I would use that, like my skin would glow just like how I wanted to, wanted it to, and it would add the moisture that I was looking for. So, um, but for people that are big on packaging and less mess and stuff, um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, I did not get those complaints when looking at the reviews for in for Sephora uh, on Sephora for this product. I paid twenty dollars for this, and this is how much you get for twenty dollars this is a lot this is a lot of product we all know for skincare products um they give you like little bits of stuff and you be like what is this and it really a little goes a long way so this is a lot um i have a lot of skincare products that are a lot smaller than this and i still have a lot left so um, uh, that's why i was willing to pay twenty dollars for this and i'm looking forward to using this in the end okay so yeah and again this is sephora's vitamin c and e vitamins for an ultra glow serum seriously i purchased these twice i hate when i do that at sephora i didn't even know i purchased these twice honestly i have a really bad habit of adding things to my sephora cart and then forgetting that i already added and double paying for it and getting twice the product because i literally forget like sephora is the place especially if you're an online shopper like sephora for me is the place where i like praying on my my list i'm i'm slowly shopping 
slowly picking out what I want, what it is that I need, what I've been eyeing, you know, I add everything that appeases me to my cart and then I narrow it down. So sometimes I add it more than once, not realizing, and I have been known to purchase things double, you know, to purchase more than one item of, the, of what I wanted when all I wanted was one item because I just forget, you know what I mean? And in this case, um, these were five dollars, and it's brown like lip gloss. It's like a lipstick lip gloss. It's supposed to. They say in the reviews that it melts like butter. It is a Sephora brand. Stop sleeping on Sephora products. That's how I feel about like Walmart and the Great Value brands. Like Walmart Great Value brands are phenomenal. So is Sephora. Like don't sleep on it because it's. It's their name brand, okay? But they, they don't come to play, okay? Like I have a lot of Sephora based like lip lipsticks and things of that nature, but I love browns if you guys haven't noticed. I love brown lips, um, brown lip gloss, lipsticks, uh, lip liners, like brown is my color. And this is supposed to be like a sheer, like a sheer brown, which is fine with me. So like just how I wanted something where you know, when I get out the shower, I can just throw this on. I just want something like when I'm out in public, I just have this in my bag and I need to reapply on my lips because I'm always like, I'm just a brown girl. I love brown. Um, I love the natural of the brown when it comes to my lips and, you know, my face features and everything. So this is called Sephora Rouge Fonded of Clicks Melting Lipsticks. And like I said, um, from the reviews, they they understood why it was called the melting lipstick. So I'm looking forward to feeling this because it sounds like something that I'm looking for and that I need right now this time of year. So we gonna see this, period. Okay, so next, let me turn that. Next we have 100% plant derived Hemi Squalene Serum takes forever this is like my fifth bottle that's all I need to say like do I love this I use this on my skin every single day this is I use it daytime nighttime it's just such a beautiful oil and the way it works with my skin and it does add like an extra glow I love how it feels this is just another staple in my product in my skincare um, products um, they say it works for your hair but I didn't find it you know doing too much for me being locked but um, honestly I don't even know like what it does but I, I don't even know okay so it hydrates the skin supports healthy skin that's what it says it does honestly I feel like it just it upped my skincare and it upped my skin and I have been consistently using this for over a year, like since I became a Rouge member at Sephora. This was one of the things that made me a Rouge member, okay? And I'm just appreciative for this. And I think I got this. This was like cheaper than I normally pay. I think it was like $3 and some change. Do not sleep on this. And I'm big on like natural skincare. This is that, plant derived. Okay, so yeah, you guys just check it out. Just add it, just add it to your line. It's only like $3 and some change. At best you're paying $5 for it. So that's up to you. But it works great for me. And if you're curious how great it works, if you've seen a change in my skincare, in my skin within the last year or so like almost two years this is why like i said this is my fifth bottle i buy these by the pounds like i buy i usually order them like two two at one time because they're cheap and i just like to keep them stacked up in my um skincare closet so moving it along okay we have some more sephora skincare products um this is Clear Skin Days by Sephora. It's a clarifying toner. It exfoliates and rebalance. And um, I don't know why I brought this, but <laughs> from what the 
reviews were saying because I was looking for another toner because you know I'm running out of toners like you know how you I don't know if every woman is like this but I feel like us girly girls and things of that nature we're really like this like you have to have more than one soap scent in your closet different brands like one soap in my closet is not good enough for me like I, I like to switch it up I don't like to smell the same all the time that's the same with my skincare um, routines, my regimens. Like I have a hundred different regimens. You know why? Because I have a hundred different skincare products that will meet those demands. So I'm always trying new things to see like what more I can add to my regimens. So this is something new that I'm trying because um, I'm just getting bored with the toners that I have and also running out of the toners that I had. And I wanted something that was gonna work on clarifying my skin especially since I ran out of this so um, this is this comes with 60 pads and um, which lasts a very long time but and, and this probably this is my third purchase of this like so this is my third purchase of this but you know when in those in between days when I don't have this I want to have something that is just as effective to fall on and from what I looked at on Sephora at the reviews, this seems to seem like it may come close for a lot more uh, affordable at the price. I don't remember what I paid for this. Um, definitely not $20. It probably was no more between $10 to $15. But I'm looking forward to trying this. I think this is going to do what, it, what it's supposed to do. It's, it's going to give what it's supposed to give according to the reviews. Um, again, once again, I think if I did see a bad review on this, the only thing it said was in regards to packaging. I'm not totally 100% sure, but we shall see. Next, I know this is crazy. I did order <laughs> two toners, and this is um, another toner um, by Ren Skincare. Well, Ren Clean Skincare. Um, I received this in my last Sephora purchase. I got this as a like a trial or travel size with my um, stuff. So um, I was like trying it out and I feel like I've grown to love this. At first I wasn't really sure, um, but I stuck with it and I've been using it for like the small little version bottle of it which I'm now like, I'm down to like the little last ending of it. So I'll be out of it like between the next two days, um, if not a day or so. But um, it's also vegan friendly, you know? Um, and I feel like this does give me what I want it to give as far as that glowing aspect. And that's what this toner does. It's Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Um, so it gives you like this glow and I feel like the reason why my skin maintained that glowing effect even outside of this um, is because of this. That's when I started to feel it pick back up because of this um, and it does glow. So I was just like, you know what, I think this is just something else good to have um, before I was going to purchase the Pixie Beauty um, Glow Tonic. I feel like this is like equivalent to that, but it's been a while since I used the Pixie Beauty Glow, Glow Tonic and they had like a 500 milliliter. I don't give me the line. I don't know what it was, but they have like a giant version of, um, they have the giant Glow Tonic. And I was starting to buy that for $50, but I said, let me give this a shot. Um, and because I've been liking this, I'm like, you know, I can rock with this. And when this runs out, then I'll take another stab at the glow tonics. But for now, it's the Ren Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA. You got to look for that daily because if it's not meant for daily, don't use it daily. Okay. If your skin can't handle it, especially if you're new to like skincare products. Okay, guys. And lastly... I am super excited about this. I have the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. And this is actually bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like this big. Yeah, like this big. So this is actually a lot more, or a lot bigger than I thought it was. I do understand um, that this is not a spray. This, These are dabbers, which is fine. 
I purchased this because in case you don't know, which you probably don't, but you probably spotted, I really started diving deep into um, my new obsession, which is perfume. Like, what's that? I don't know. But that's where I, that's how I feel about perfume, right? Okay, because I literally buy like six different bottles a week. Okay, and I'm pretty sure if you've been looking into perfume, um, trying to get your foot wet or established out here in these perfume streets, you know about Rebel Scents. Honey, yeah, I, Rebel Scents been getting, they've been taking my money, okay? And I've been loving it. I don't go anywhere, but I've been loving getting out the shower and just spraying myself or walking by my little collection. Y'all don't, okay, look, 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 look at it. It's growing. It's growing, sis, okay? So I've been loving that. Like, so I've been watching a lot of videos and no, I'm not ready to buy myself a 400, 300, 200 dollar bottle of perfume yet. Um, it will be a gift one day um, for Christmas this year. I, I don't know which one I'm gonna go with, but I will buy myself an expensive perfume. Uh, and a hundred dollars is not expensive compared to the ones that I want. But um, you know, I figured since they had this little sample kind of uh, what you call these little things, these little mini versions, a little. I don't know these little things right here. <laughs> I figure like, you know what, let me try it because I hear a lot of rave about these and I've been dying to purchase them. And I just decided, you know, let me just try it because um, the other thing that I purchased um, that is not a part of this haul is um, Donna Born and Roma. There we go, Donna Born and Roma perfume. Um, I was going to purchase with this Sephora um, haul and I had it in my cart and something told me to just go on Rebel Sense because I told myself that if by the Sephora holiday sale, it's not up, I am going to purchase it from Sephora if it's not available on Rebel Sense because since I've been a Rebel Sense member, um, <laughs> a fan of Rebel Sense, I have not seen, it's been sold out. Okay, and the more videos I watched on it, I just determined like that's the that's the one that I'm gonna pay out of my, I'm gonna pay all the dollars. Okay, so it is retailed for 135 for the big for the big bottle at 3.4 ounces, I believe, at Sephora. But I got it for 112 dollars, sis, and it's actually um, retail at Rebel Sense for 124 dollars, but. I can't give y'all my secrets. I can't, I can't. And then I don't want the girls mad at me, but I did get it for $112. And I do get discounts every single time I purchase from Rebel Sense. I just learned the trick of the trade that I just can't share with God, with y'all, I can't do it. But if you wanna know, if you want the secret, just email me. I will give you the secret to getting your little discount off on at Rebel Sense, okay? Cause I make sure I get that discount every time. So. Instead of paying um, $124, which was still good because it was I was getting like $10 off or so, but now I got, now I, all I had to pay was $112, I think in some change maybe at best. So anywho, that's what I was gonna purchase at Sephora, but once I seen that, I was like, oh, peace, bye. I'm getting it from Rebel like I do with the rest of my stuff. Okay, <laughs> but long story short, I said all that to say this. Um, so I I am thinking about purchasing um, this because I hear a lot of rave. Um, I guess my preference when it comes to fragrance these days have grown to be more sexy and mature and not, no offense, but I'm just past my bath and body work stage. I'm just, I'm ready for something more sexy. I've been celibate for over two years. So I have to, I got to bring that sexy somewhere. So, you know, I am definitely diving deep into this perfume line. Starting, starting light because we ain't spending four, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars yet. We ain't spending that yet. Honestly, my time for perfumes, I definitely want the next guy that, um, I'm with who will be my husband 
to get that for me. <laughs> okay, because if I got to do it myself, it's just going to make, make it so much worse. Make it so much harder for the next guy. That's all I got to say. Um, but anywho, I just got this to try this out because I want to see what this, what this be like. I want to see what this be like and then decide like if I want to get the big bottle of it, the small bottle of it, like can I live without it or can I pass up on it, like use this and just be like, okay. Okay, so that's what this is about and that wraps up this yay holiday <laughs> Sephora haul. Um, it's dope being a Rouge member. I don't know about any of y'all, but the last time I checked, you gotta spend like a thousand dollars a year to become a Rouge member or a thousand dollars to be a Rouge member for a year. And when I made this purchase, it was something telling me at the top, it was like this like FYI thing. It was like, you're $72 away from, um, to keep, you're $72 away to keep your Rouge member status. And I'm like, what? You ain't saying nothing but a chicken wing. Actually, because of that <laughs> price, because of the discount and everything, I only paid like, I think it was like $80 for all that. Um, which is cool, you know. A girl waited for this day to splurge, and I know you like eighty dollars. That's not a splurge. Well, it is to me. And on top of that, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of this sale. So this is just the first purchase. Like I said, when these sales happen, I just, I just be feeling it. It's like I feel it in my spirit. Like okay, I already got a, the next cart filled out. Okay, which will be. Listen, this sale ends on the 15th. I probably make two more purchases before this sale ends, okay? So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of it and I advise you do the same, period, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for checking me out. It's your girl, Christy, once again. I'm tapping out with the bad sign. Peace and love, love and harmony, and be blessed. Yes, Mwah. yes, I